a I'm Melitka Procházková, or my full name is Radomila Procházková. I'm the head of the Inter Accent International House in Prague. We started our school, let me tell you how we started our school. We started it many years ago in 1988 when I was a teacher at the only language school in Prague at that time. Uh, people were queuing to get in, to get have, to have the chance to study English, other languages. We were sleeping in bags, in sleeping bags in the street. Some Western journalists filmed the situation, and the Communist Party decided that they would start another two schools in Prague. We were sent to a Prague 4 school and we decided we wanted to be in a school that would be slightly different from what the schools looked like, looked like at that time. So we wanted to have a different school, we refused to be, um, we refused the first director. At that time the, the situation in the Czech Republic that was a part of the communist system was melting, the situation was a bit slightly better than the years before, so we took our chance and started the school. Unfortunately, the first director uh, had a nervous breakdown after five days of the school. So I stepped, this is how I stepped in. We were, there were 20 teachers in our school and we were ready to do anything in the world to make a school our school, really. so we painted the walls, moved the furniture, started using the books that we got from the secretly got from the British Council instead of our Czech course books, and started to use things that we thought were good for for, for teaching. We had uh, lots of students. Students were queuing. It was an ideal situation that we never uh, that we never experienced later. After two years, there was the revolution in our country, and we were ready. We were the ones who were speaking to students, speaking to the public about the changes in our country. And in next two years, or next my year, we decided we would like to have our own. We have, would like to have our own private school. So we started a school without any business experience. We were, there, there we were, 20 teachers, mainly women, with no experience, but wanted to do business. Um, at that time, I was already on maternity leave, um, so some of my colleagues, two of my colleagues, uh, did the directors for two years, and then I went back. At that time, we already were a stable school with, uh, let's say, 40, I think, teachers, and we were going on, we started a CELTA course, we were ready to do new things, but we didn't have any international experience. We had foreign teachers, but we wanted to see um, how other people in other countries did it. So we joined IH in the year 2000. Is it enough?